Okay, welcome to another Orbiter 2010 video. And this video is going to be the conclusion of my new Earth to Mars video that series that I'm putting together. In the uh, last video, we were here at Mars, but we were, uh, you know, getting lined up with the Olympus runway, bringing our equatorial position to 12.745 uh, is what it needs to be. Uh, let me go ahead and switch camera views here. Bring our equatorial position to the to that 12.745 figure and you can see we're still working on that a little bit but we're only 550 kilometers away from the base so uh, so we still got a little bit of time left to fine-tune that and we're at 21 kilometers altitude so we need to bring the altitude down as well so let's just go ahead and unpause here and we'll jump back into the flight and finish things up morning conditions detected system reset and I got to watch the uh, APU usage here. We only have uh, 29.8 kg left on the APU. So there's really no APU left to do any uh, flight corrections with. We're just going to have to rely on the RCS for any flying that we have to do here. Because we need to save that APU for braking. So just watching the rate, watching the equatorial position, watching the altitude, watching the distance to the base. Need to descend quite a bit more, but not wanting to descend too fast because we want to make sure that we have enough velocity by the time we get to the base. But uh, we definitely need to get down because the last few hundred kilometers goes by pretty fast. Okay, we have the uh, equatorial position that we need, but we have a little bit of south rate, so we need to bank a bit to the left and get rid of that south bank. Should have been paying closer attention to that. You can see now the rate is 0, 0, 0, 1 south. Now it's zeroed out completely. And here in a second it'll go north. Now it's north. So now I can go back to level or center position. Let's pitch up here a little bit and check our velocity. Our velocity here is what I'm kind of looking at. This is what our velocity will be when our wheels touch the ground. And here it says that it'll be about 500 meters per second. It's about what we want. Can't go too much slower than that. So still trying to descend, have 400 kilometers to go. Equatorial position is perfect. Rate is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 north. So we kind of just want to keep things just like they are. Pull back on the stick just a little bit to check our, make sure we're going to have enough velocity to get to the base. I feel like I need to bring the air brake in just for a second. So APU on. AP on, air brake in. AP APU off. off nine. And our equatorial position is just a little bit to the north. That's okay. See, according to arrow brake, we're passing over the base by quite a bit now, but I don't want to slow down quite too much yet because I still need to still need to descend down to Mach five. you know just a kilometer above the ground equatorial position is good check my RCS still have 126 kg okay equatorial position is good but now it's saying we're trending a bit south and we don't want that Check my velocity at touchdown, 700, 800 kilometers per se or 800 meters per second. That's too fast. So we'll throw the air brake back out here for before too long. But really, I think if I can just push myself down lower, I'll get rid of the. Uh, Five thousand. I'll get rid of the velocity. Equatorial position's good. Check 
check RCS. 4, 121. I think we're going to be fine on RCS. Due to that 1% margin of error I gave myself. I think we're still going to have to throw the air brake out again before too long. 240 meters, kilometers rather, from the center of the runway. Equatorial position is just a little 10, bit off. 000. Okay, we're down to just 1,500 meters above the ground. Equatorial position is good. Yeah, we're going a bit fast. One thousand nine hundred. Need to bring up our rate. Okay, gonna have to put out the air brake for a second. On AP eight on nine. In fact, let me put the landing gear down as well. AP on of nine seven hundred. Information AP year down and ten percent six hundred. Five hundred. Okay, I just have to really concentrate now. Can have to bring that air brake back in. On. Oops. Four hundred APU offline. Watching the rate. Okay, we're just three hundred meters above the ground. Three hundred. Hundred and thirty five kilometers from the center of the runway. Trying to bring the rate to south because we're to the north at the moment. Hundred and twenty kilometers to go to the center of the runway. Okay, we have a south rate. Let's not overdo it. One hundred seventy five. Hundred kilometers to go to the center of the runway. Let's not get ridiculous and climb. One hundred seventy five fifty forty thirty twenty. 88 kilometers to go. We're just 30 meters above the ground. Thirty. 70 kilometers to go to the center of the runway. 20. Fifteen. Mock three. Fifty eight kilometers to go to the center of the runway. Fifty. Need to watch our rate. Forty. 50 kilometers to go to the center of the runway. 100. Okay, we need to start descending slowly. 50, 40, 30. 
twenty. Fifteen. Ten. Eight. Five. Warning. Wheels down. AF control services off. Warning. AF control services Missed the runway off. off to the uh, right just a bit. Warning. AF control services off. And I think I actually touched Morning. down just a little AF bit before the runway. Off. Warning. AF control services off. Warning. AF control services off. Warning, AF control services off. Warning, AF control services off. There really needs to be a keyboard Warning, shortcut for AF the AF control. control services off. As far as I know, there is not. Warning, AF there we just passed the center of the runway. Off. Warning, AF control services off. And we'll have wheel stop here in Warning, just a couple AF more seconds. Control services off. 100 knots. Warning, AF control services off. Warning, wheel APU stop. APU fuel low. <laughs> wheel stop. Let's turn the APU off. System reset. Get rid of that alarm. And let's kind of check out and see how we did for the finale. So we ended up with uh, 96.3 kg of RCS remaining. The APU is really the is the tough one here, since you're, you know, it, with this configuration, you're burning through APU so fast that there almost isn't enough when you get to Mars and you need to do your atmospheric, you know, your atmospheric flight part. The thing is, this APU setting is all the way to the maximum, is the maximum burn rate. And I remember in the uh, XR configuration file that it actually says that number four, there's, there's five settings, and it says that number four is realistic. So we're technically burning APU faster than what's considered realistic. So it might be worth uh, resetting this configuration so that, so that the APU is on, is on the realistic setting. Now, alternatively, though, if we if we brought maybe a little bit more RCS with us, then we wouldn't need to have the APU on, uh, you know, at all or much at all during the atmospheric flight. In which case, we could save it all for the last, you know, 500 kilometers. But you just burn through it so fast. But let's take a look at burn time calculator, and uh, let's see. Actually, what I'll have to do. Is transfer the fuel over to the main in order for it to give us a reading because I don't think that you can switch to RCS oh you can now okay that's right the newer version lets you do that so any of the RCS settings are fine so we have 63 meters per second remaining and our margin of error was 36 meters per second so let me think about that. Let me think. Because I, I gave myself 50 meters per second for mid-course correction. So let's say we eliminated that. So let's say I gave myself zero uh, meters per second for mid-course corrections. Then 63 minus 50 would be 13. So we're, we're within, we, we used up, uh, I'm trying to think of how to word that. We could say that we used up our whole margin of error plus a little bit more. Or we could say we used up all of our mid-course corrections and still had, actually, let me, okay, how am I, that's not right, because we have 63 meters per second remaining. So let's say I gave myself a 0% margin of error. So 63 minus, I think it was a 36 was the margin of error. then we would have 27 meters per second remaining if I didn't give any margin of error. So then that means we used about half of what I calculated for mid-course correction. 
So, I mean, it's very close. I mean, obviously, but I just, I'm just trying to think about, you know, the absolute best on this. Turn on external cooling. Using external O2. So. External cooling online. So for a future, for a future flight out to Mars using the XR2 in this configuration, I just, I just, I don't, I don't feel like it's practical to cut it quite this close because I, I mean, I feel like I could have had a better runway landing. You know, I could have been closer on the center position if I wasn't so stressed out about using up the APU or using up the RCS. So I feel like I need just a little bit more fuel. So part of the calculation needs to include in that atmospheric flight. Once you get down to Mars and you do your aerobraking, and then you either turn on the APU or you use the RCS to, to do your steering. I don't, I wouldn't consider that a mid course correction really, but I would consider that, you know, maybe I guess it could be, but you, you need, you just need to add like another variable in there and say that you need, you know, a hundred meters per second or 200 or something. You need, you need to calculate that in there somewhere because otherwise you're just not leaving yourself any margin hardly at all. So anyway, if you like the flight, uh, please do leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you have any questions, leave those questions in the uh, comments area, of course. And like the video if you like the video. Dislike the video if you dislike the video. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Links are in the description down below. And I will see you in the next mission.